So you want to get Google Analytics 4 set up on your Webflow website. It only takes a few minutes and I'm going to show you just how to do it in this video. So we've got our Webflow website ready to go. We just need to install Google Analytics. So we're going to jump over and create a new account. It takes just a few moments. We're going to enter in the name of our account, which in this case is Jones Event Company. We're going to just leave all the default uh, settings there. Create our property, Jones Event Company website. We are in the Denver time zone. And then we'll jump over here. Uh, let's see, this is a small. We'll find a category that works best for our business. Let's see what we've got here. Uh, nothing that really matches it. So we're just going to click other business activity. We just want to measure customer engagement on our site. And there we go. So we've got our account created inside of Google Analytics. Now what we need to do is set up our stream. This is a website. Uh, address is joneseventcompany.com. Uh, we'll call it Jones Event website we'll leave it in enhanced measurement and we'll click create stream now we are good to go so all we really need to do now is copy over our script uh, we're going to just go to manual and it's going to give us this little tag right here we'll copy this we'll jump over to our webflow website in the settings for your website you want to go to the custom code tab and then from there uh let's see it's asking us to put this in immediately after the head element so within the head tag so we're going to go in here here we go at the code at the end of the head tag there we go we save our changes then we it says we have to publish it so don't forget that we'll click publish this and then we're going to test this with uh, google tag assistant to make sure that it's updated so let's open up our website in another tab if you don't already have it, you want to get the Google Tag Assistant extension for your Chrome browser. You'll click Enable, and then you need to refresh the page, and it's going to tell you if it found your tag. And look at that, it did. So we are successful in getting Google Analytics set up on our Webflow website. I told you it would be easy. For more helpful videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.